do you think causes climate anomalies? Well, I believe it is accidental. If that is your answer, you would be wrong. I was just joking. Isn't it because the Earth is heating up? Correct. Precisely. Climate extremes are caused by increasing greenhouse gases due to industrialization. We are over-consuming coal and petroleum and generating gases. If the gases are accumulating the atmosphere, the Earth is warming like a greenhouse. The Korea Meteorological Administration says that the average temperature of the Korean peninsula has risen approximately 1.8 degrees Celsius in the past 100 years, and the pace of global warming is getting accelerated. Well, isn't it still far from reality? Do you really think so? The World Bank has announced that a 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise and climate change in the next 20 years are inevitable. Given the amount of carbon dioxide accumulated from the past and to be emitted in the future. Come on, it's just 1.5 degrees Celsius. In a reported title, Turn Down the Heat, the World Bank estimated that without proactive actions, the average temperature of the Earth will increase 2 degrees Celsius in about 40 years and 4 degrees Celsius in about 70 years. Then let's see what will happen. From 2030, an increase in global temperature of just 2 degrees Celsius will reduce crop yields in 70% of total agricultural land around the world and cause a rise in sea levels that will expand flooded areas. Also, heat waves will increase the mortality rate and the total economic loss will be $1.4 trillion. If the world were to warm by 4 degrees Celsius, People in the Middle East and North Africa have been adapting to extreme heat with a 99% possibility. And the Eastern Europe and Central Asia have faced 60 to 80 days of significant threats from forest fires in a year. Wow! Now it feels real! I had no idea that just a 2 degrees Celsius increase in temperature has such a huge impact. Who do you think is responsible for the Earth's fever? Everyone on Earth is responsible. That's right. The fifth assessment report, released by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, emphasizes that climate change has been certainly caused by human activities. According to the IPCC assessment report, we can control global warming within 2 degrees Celsius. But the more delayed the efforts are, the larger the costs and the higher the chance of failure become. So we need fundamental change to meet the goal of controlling the temperature rise within 2 degrees Celsius. How serious do we take climate change and what measures do we have to deal with it? To tackle climate change, each country has been working to meet their own greenhouse gas reduction targets and has also been launching a new climate change regime to fulfill common obligations. Have you heard about the new climate change regime? I might have. It is a regime that compels all countries around the world, including developed and developing ones, to reduce greenhouse gas emission by 2020. It comprises follow-up measures to the Kyoto Protocol, which is a well-known international agreement among many countries to address climate change. The follow-up measures to the Kyoto Protocol? Then, what is the biggest difference between these two? The biggest difference is the range of countries participating in greenhouse gas reduction. The Kyoto Protocol applies only to developed countries, which are historically responsible for greenhouse gas emissions since industrialization. But the new climate change regime applies to every country around the world. So all countries, including Korea, should join the effort to cut greenhouse gas emission under the new climate change regime. What is the international community supposed to do to establish the new climate change regime? Industrial competitiveness should be the primary consideration. We should develop new technologies in the long-term perspective, rather than pursuing short-term economic profits. Thus, we should carry out greenhouse gas reduction through new technology development. We also need to expand investment in renewable energy. To reach its reduction target of 30% below the business-as-usual level projections by 2020, Korea will introduce a greenhouse gas emissions trading scheme on January 1, 2015. 
Did you say trading greenhouse gas emission? Yes. Under the greenhouse gas emissions trading scheme, the government sets a cap on the total amount of greenhouse gas emission. Companies, as going through production activities, can trade emission allowances that are short of or spared with one another. To prevent extreme changes in the Earth's environment for the future generation as well as ours, and to keep our planet beautiful, we should not neglect greenhouse gases, the main culprit in climate change. Yes, that's why the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea becomes more significant as it provides comprehensive and systematic management of the changes in daily life brought by the new climate change regime. Based on the Framework Act on Low Carbon Green Growth, the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea was founded on June 15, 2010 to become a global think tank for estimating greenhouse gas inventory and setting and implementing the reduction targets. The Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea sets the nation's and sector's greenhouse gas reduction targets, operates a national greenhouse gas management system, supports the greenhouse gas target management system and emissions trading scheme, and boosts international cooperation. The Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea is working hard to lead forward a world-class greenhouse gas management agency to respond to climate change. To keep global warming less than 2 degrees Celsius, the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea will join the effort with you to reduce greenhouse gases.